Hello there, I'm Priyanka. In today's video, we will learn about difference between save as option and save option in MS Word. Let's begin. Save as and save option. So students, let's see what is the difference between save and the save as option in MS Word. We use both the options to save our work. When you don't want to lose your work, don't forget to save it before closing your document. There is a slight difference between save and the save as option and depending upon our need, we switch between the two options. So now, let's dive into the video. So this is the document named as Pranga that I created earlier with some text written on the document. Now. First of all, let's see where we can find the save and the save as option. So just above the file tab in the quick access toolbar, you will find the save option. You can also use the keyboard shortcut control plus S to save your file or for the save option. Now, if you click on the file tab in the left blue panel, you will find the save and the save as options. So now, if I'm working on this document and I have this text written already on the document, so uh, let's suppose I write some new text saying, hello, have a good day. And now, if I want to save this text, the new text that I've just written, on my already existing document that is the Priyanka file what I will do before closing my document I will click on the save option you can click on the save option in the quick access toolbar or click on the file tab and then click on save so when you click on save now let's close our document so now this is my file let's click and open the file and see if the text is saved so yes I can see this hello have a good day written so this is why we use the save option when you wish to save all the new changes that you make on your already existing document then we always click on the save option before closing our document uh, now let's suppose I write good morning now if I forget to click on the save option and clicked on by mistake the close option the Microsoft Word will always remind you or ask you before closing the document that whether you want to save the changes that you have made in this document or not so I will click on save so now this is the file let's open the file and see if the text is saved so yeah I can see good morning written so my text is saved so now let's see in what situations we use the save as option students when you wish to keep your original file with you but want to create a new file with a different name we use the save as option for example, this is my already existing document Priyanka. Now I wish to create a new document by a new name. Then I will use the save as option. So uh, let's see, let's make some changes in my this document. Uh, let me change the color of my document, the background color of my document. And now let's save this document, but with a different name. So we will click on file tab and now we will click on the save as option. Now it will ask me the directory or the folder where I want to save my file. You can select the directories from here or click on the browse option. The save as dialog box will appear. On the left hand side you will find the different directories or folder where you can save your file. So right now I want to save my file on the desktop. So I will click on desktop. Now in the file name column, 
I can write the different name by which I want to save my file or you can say a new name so uh, let's uh, say I want to save my this file with the name Priya new and then click on save so what will happen a new file named as Priya new with the new changes that you have made will be saved now let's minimize this and see my previous document was named as Priyanka and this Priyanka new is the new document that I created now if I click on Priyanka I can see that the changes that I have made is not reflected in this file uh, the background color that I changed is not reflected in this file because that changes were made in the new file that was saved with the new name now let's close this and this is the new file with the name Priyanka new where the new changes are reflected so this is the basic difference between save and the save as option the save option lets you save the new changes in an already existing file and the save as option lets you save the changes in the new file that can be saved at different location with a different name. Students, always remember for the very first time when you save your document, it will always open up the save as dialog box. For example, let me just show you. Let's create a new document. So this is the new document named as document one. So let's write some text here. Hello. And now, so the very first time when you save your document before closing it, always save as dialog box appears. So now let's click on save. It will ask us whether uh, the uh, directory where you want to save your file click on computer then click on browse and you will see that the save as dialog box will appear now the procedure will be same uh, from the left hand side you can select the folder or the directory where you wish to save your file then you can enter any new name for your file and click on save so for the very first time when you click on save it will always open up the save as dialog box for you, for you. So this is the basic difference between save and the save as option. That's all for today's video. Happy learning. Thank you.